I'm Keith, and I eat everything. And because of all the travel I've done, I feel like I already know all of the best spots to grab a meal. But to put myself to the test, today I have invited a few of my food-loving friends to put my restaurant recommendations up against theirs. In the end, we'll see if I knew the best spot or if I find a new favorite place. This is Tailgate Debate, and today we're eating breakfast burritos. Welcome to Tailgate Debate. I am joined this week by two of my food-loving friends from different aspects of my life. Actually, both of these people I met when I worked at BuzzFeed. Quasi, he is a producer in LA. We work together on a lot of shoots. And then I met Marissa. So I was shooting the first ever Twitter Runs My Day video that I ever did. Quasi, uh, give us a little, like, 30-second spiel of who is Quasi. Oh, man, Quasi James. I'm a man of many, many tricks and traits. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. I'm a black man. And also, I love Keith, man. Keith is a cool guy, and I love working with him. Marissa, give us the 30-second spiel of who Marissa is. Who am I? I am... Hold on, I'm merging onto the highway. <laughs> Get up. I'm a safe driver, first and foremost. I love food. I'm excited to take you boys into my neighborhood and uh, give your burritos a run for their money. I have no idea where I'm going. And I, I, I this, this, this is like the, this is the other side of town for me. You're doing great, Quasi. Hey, yeah. you're right behind me. I see you. Hey. Hey. Yo. Oh, we're all in oh, that's you. That's incredible. Oh, that's you. Wow, we're staying together. <laughs> Even though Quasi doesn't know how we're getting to where we're going. We are going to Quasi's spot first. Quasi, tell us a little bit about the restaurant and the burrito that you're bringing to the table. Oh today. yeah, Keith. I'm, we're taking you guys to Dogtown Coffee Shop. All right, so we're having the Munchies burrito. Uh, you can take that how you want it. Usually I, uh, <laughs> I get that early in the morning during like a nice morning walk to my uh, fiance. So I have a question for you both Eastsiders. So like, are you moved to Cal yeah. you moved to California. Obviously both of you guys are transplants, right? You guys are not from yeah. California, yeah. right? Got it. So you moved to California. So and you don't want to move to a place like Baywatch, like near the beach and people like are running on the sand. Here's the thing. You as I said, I'm Puerto Rican, so I'm sorry. Pacific Ocean beaches are not as good as Caribbean wow. Ocean. You want that warm water. See, I'm the guy who lives by the beach that doesn't go into the water. I just want the vibes. I want to feel the water, but I don't want to feel the water. You dig me? Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> you, you. you want the water to feel you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, Quasi, in introduce this bad boy to us. If you can take it open, take a look at it, take a smell, uh, just taking take taking a smell. See, the munchies is simple. It's exactly what you need to get you energized for your day. Oh, it's actually, it's very beautiful when you open it up. Yeah. The avocado is bright green. It's got some nice cheese on the sides here, a nice pico and potatoes looks like, and maybe bacon. Yeah. Hell yeah. Oh. Oh, it smells good, Quasi. <laughs> this smells really good. <laughs> it, this is a weird thing to say about a breakfast burrito, but I find it refreshing. Oh, I can see good. that. Yeah, I can see that. And it's because of the pico. It's very fresh. Mm -hmm. And the avocado. It still tastes like comfort food, but the the pico really brightens it up and makes it feel like I could go for a walk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like I can eat this and be in a bikini. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You got any hot sauce in your, in, in your car there? You know, I do. You mean a chicken sauce? <laughs> Why, I just so happen to have three bottles right here. <laughs> Hold on, I'm coming. I'm coming for a special delivery. Oh, it's gonna, it smells good. Keith, heck yeah. So good. Okay, Keith. Okay, hot sauce, Keith. Okay, I'm doing, I'm doing one more drive-by with this. So I have one and a half bottles of Keith's burger sauce with me. So I'm gonna have to put a dab onto your burrito. <laughs> yes. That's all I can do. Okay. With a little thicker. Ooh. Mmm. Pretty good. It was like vinegary. Yeah. Ooh, mm -hmm. yeah. Quasi, I gotta tell you, I was not expecting your burrito to be this lit. Yeah. Not, not because I don't think you could provide one. It's just like, how would I not know about something so delicious? Right, right. <laughs> 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 All right, so next up we are going to my neighborhood, Los Files, to go to Cafe Los Files, which is an amazing little bakery that also has 
just my favorite breakfast burrito in all of LA. And it's like a classic structure. It's just potatoes, bacon, eggs, cheese, tortilla, but it comes in this little chipotle, mayo, aioli, whatever it is that you dip it into. Question about eggs. We randomly did some research. So chickens lay eggs every single day. Now eggs, unless it's fertilized by a male, it just comes out as an egg. So a male chicken is called a, what, a rooster and a cock. So he has to have sex with the hen. A day or, or day before or something like that? Well, I think there must be multiple eggs in different stages of development at one time when the rooster has sex with the chicken. What stage does the egg development need to be to become a fertilized egg. I don't know. If you know, let us let us know in the comments down below. I like also, Quasi, you started this with, I've been doing research, and then you just asked a question. <laughs> <laughs> what did your research yield, Quasi? I don't know, yo, I, I just got, I think I got tired and gave up. We have made it to Cafe Los Files, my favorite spot. I hope you're ready for the best breakfast burrito you've ever had in your life. We'll see. We got our burritos here. Let's open up our little boxes. Oh, it oh. smells so good. Well, 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 before I open the box, I could smell it through the box, dude. That's something, that's a good thing, Keith. Okay, good size. Ooh. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. I must say, visually, when the tortilla is basically see-through, that's how you know it's gonna be delicious. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Even if like, it looks like a, a perfect diner scramble going mm. on in there. Like all the ingredients are already nicely interspersed together. Mm. Oh, that's good. That's oh, good. Yeah. That is that's good. savory. Wow. Oh, the tortilla is so good. It has moments of crispiness, but it's also chewy. Mm-hmm. 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 I do think this is a Midwest breakfast burrito. <laughs> <laughs> it's heavy, no. cheesy, delicious, eggy. What's your favorite part of the burrito? Mine, mine is the butt. I love... I love the butt. The secret ingredient in this that I forgot about is that they have these little grilled caramelized red yeah. onions interspersed Where? Throughout. And that's giving you a little bit of extra savoriness. I found one of them in mine. I'll show you through the window. See, it's an <gasps> onion. Hello, onion. <laughs> All right, Marissa, we are headed to your spot. What is this restaurant even called? It's called My Taco. My Taco. <laughs> It's a Mexican restaurant, it's in Highland Park, it's been there for years. And we are gonna have the chorizo breakfast burrito. Oh, damn. It's so good, I love chorizo. It also has rice and refried beans in it. Ooh. Oh, wow, oh, yes. we're taking a, a, a hard left. Yes, Ooh. yes, yes. What are yes, we having, yes, dinner? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start with a little horchata, it's a hot day. I've never had this before. What? Oh yeah. my gosh, Quasi. This is the Quasi, first. get ready. Wow. It's rice milk with cinnamon and sometimes they add vanilla to it. The corchata? Yeah. 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 Refreshing as shit. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Hold on. I got our, our deliveries are coming as you're talking and they're huge. Marissa, this doesn't look like just a burrito. It's not. These are the carne asada Ooh. french fries. Oh my goodness, look at these oh, aside wow. fries. Oh wow. There's look a at lot that cheese pull. The cheese is pulling. Well, that's what's up. This burrito is so big and it's like hot. Like it's still on the grill hot. Look at the, the grease coming through already. It's so greasy. Oh my God, Marissa. <laughs> This That's is huge. crazy looking. <laughs> oh, I, I think we need we need a moment of silence to pray, yo. There's so much chorizo in this. Yeah. This is not a breakfast burrito. What are you talking about? This is a burrito. Wow. There's eggs in it. This this has eggs, eggs in it. Yes. You're look kidding. at the grease. Look at the grease. You know. <laughs> look at look where we at. Okay, I'm diving into this finally. Get, Get in. in there. Wow, that is a heavy mother <laughs> So this is good because it'll last you like almost the whole day. <laughs> yeah, this is this is this is dinner, dude. This is like the 2 a.m. burrito. Like mm -hmm. before you go to sleep, you have breakfast. And also yeah. this reheat 
really, really well. I love the refried beans in this. I find myself enjoying the refried beans and cheese side just a little bit more than the full chorizo side. It's hard to get the whole bite all at once in your mouth because mm -hmm. yeah. it's enormous. Yo, so when I put it on my passenger seat, the uh, seat belt alarm comes on because it's, <laughs> yeah, it's, so, it's so heavy. It's like another human being. Well, we have each gotten to present our burritos now. So now we have one more stop. We're gonna get out of our cars. We're gonna have our little tailgate debate. Choose who actually brought the best burrito to the table to crown our winner. Let's Woo! do it. So let's start with Quasi's spot. Dogtown Coffee was Quasi's spot. I loved the avocado and the pico de gallo. It gave it this freshness. My only critique would be that the tortilla was not the most delicious tortilla of the day. I. Excuse me. I loved the avocado, so fresh. It's like the perfect beach burrito. What I didn't like is that it was so small. <laughs> I mean, I'm a small lady and that wouldn't fill me up. Then we went to my spot, Cafe Los Feliz. I love the tortilla. The cheese ratio to everything was really good. What I didn't like is that it was like nothing special about it. And it was so expensive. Whoa. Whoa. It's like 13 bucks. I got no money like that, spend all that money on a breakfast burrito. Next time I get my money back from my high yielding savings account, I'll probably invest into that burrito. Cool, cool, cool. Well, then last up, of course, was my taco, Marissa's Choice. I will say that for value, six bucks, that much food, easily the best value of the day. But I asked the question, was it a breakfast burrito? <laughs> It was a fucking burrito. I was gonna say the same thing. <laughs> I was gonna say the same thing. That's because we eat it in the AM. That's what we eat. It's a breakfast burrito. Yeah. Yeah. What I love about the spot was the mom and pop shop. Mm -hmm. It felt very homey, very uh, down to earth. Yeah. And this drink that we have, I know that doesn't do with the burrito, but it was fantastic. But other than that, that's where it stops. The burrito is heavy. I feel like going to sleep. I feel like waking up in 2021. Don't we all, though? <laughs> Marissa, any last words all right. for yours? Here's the thing. Screw you two, it's <laughs> delicious, all right? And we came here today to all share our favorite spots in hopes that we will change one of our minds. Mm -hmm. Did anybody here today, of the three of us, and maybe don't look at each other so you can't be swayed, change their mind today? Did someone change their mind? No. No. Me neither. Ah! Oh man, well, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> How could you not like mind of that? What's wrong with you? It's so all good. Oh, 1275. So our first place is all the place we already chose. So we're okay. gonna have to go to the second place. My second place is Dogtown Coffee, Quasi Spot. My second place will be yours. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so Marissa, unfortunately, we both chose yours for third in our ranks, but you get to break the tiebreaker of second, determining our winner today. Who do you think was the second best burrito you tried? Drum roll, please. It's Quasi! <laughs> yeah, do a dance. Do a dance, Quasi. Yeah, that's Keith. <laughs> Let me know if you're in LA, some of your favorite spots, and in general, wherever you are, use the comment section below to, you know, tout your favorite spot in your town. Give each other tips right now. You know, small businesses and restaurants alike are really struggling. We need to do everything we can to keep them afloat, or else we won't have anywhere good left to eat. All right? It's up to us. You're not even that good at cooking anyway. Yeah, eggs are weird.